Hey folks, this is Thrifty Gamer 83 here. Yes, as promised and advertised. Today I am doing my review of WWF Warzone for the PlayStation 1, featuring a nice roster of wrestlers from the late 90s. Along with one, two of my favorites, actually, Ken Shamrock and Mankind. This is a great little title to get your hands on. Lately, I've noticed it's going for the bargain basement price of between $0.50 cents to $2. And it all depends on where you look for it, really. This is a nice, classic wrestling game. It's the late 90s so yes they still used the WWF as a matter of fact it was released in 1999 so there you go that is the heart of the late 90s boom in wrestling it didn't really feature the grappling mechanics which had made the WW, WW, WCW games a hot commodity for the Nintendo 64 with simple and basic controls. This one actually, it had better graphics, in my opinion. It had better graphics, and to be honest, it had better controls because with the Nintendo 64 versions, what you had, despite the easy to use controls, was it felt like it was slippery at times. With WWF Warzone, the controls are nice and polished and really well done. And I'm happy to see that they keep, that they give you a training mode. That way you can preview the roster. It's a very, very nice thing to see even from a late 90s game, was just a deep, extensive roster with even a create-your-own wrestler as well. This was key to how wrestling games matured and as well attracted in sales revenue. So WWF Warzone really did Wake us up. WWF Warzone. I know. I'm old. I'm 32 years old. So yes, this is basically the quintessential 15-year-old me just taking a look and just being amazed. These games were so well done and so far ahead of their time. And it finally worked. Instead of arcade controls, instead of Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter-esque controls, you had controls which actually featured a good roster and move set. Warzone is one of those types of games I was looking to find to build my collection of classic retro games, and I'm glad I did. Being able to create your own, ro your own wrestler, having a deeply engaging roster, is one of those things which really made sense. And it really impacted me to purchase wrestling games. Uh, it also had one of my other favorite wrestlers, British Bulldog. He had, he has since passed away, as well as Owen Hart. Rant, rave, love, hate. Click that subscribe button. You're keeping me going.